What's going on guys, Digidestin here, back again with another pick up video for you. I got some thrift finds, some finds from ThinkGeek again, and uh, something directly from Nintendo. So I can't wait to show you what I got. Alright, so like I said, we got some stuff from the thrift store, stuff from ThinkGeek, and stuff from Nintendo. I'm going to go ahead and start with the finds from the thrift shop. Uh, these are from Value Village, just baggies here. Uh, and these are manuals, so these are game manuals. Uh, they were just hanging up in the section, I don't know what section they call it, the arts and crafts section, where they have a bunch of paper, pencils, craft scissors, all that stuff. But for some reason, I saw this Pokemon logo caught my eye and uh, I started looking a little bit closer and I ended up finding three bags of game manuals. Uh, so they're each $1.99. Oh, I guess the receipt here is still. Each $1.99 and it looks like they're, they're Game Boy Color and N64 manuals. So I'm going to go ahead and open these up and show you some of the manuals that I got. So we have the Pokemon Gold version. Warlocked, and all these are in really good shape actually. Uh, Pokemon trading card game from Game Boy Color. And it's cool because I don't have the Pokemon manual or the Warlocked manual, even though I don't have the Warlocked game. Uh, next baggie, also $1.99. This consists of N64 manuals. And really can't resist a bag of manuals for $1.99. Um, usually the manuals themselves, one of them would cost $1.99, uh, if not more. So we got NFL Blitz. I used to play this one a lot, actually, with my, my buddy back in the day. Uh, NHL, Blades of Steel, 99. Konami game. NHL, 99. Again, like I mentioned, all these manuals are in really good shape. And then we have Rugrats in Paris. Or Rugrats the movie in Paris. Or Rugrats in Paris the movie. I don't know. Alright, and the last baggie of manuals. This one's probably the best one of the lot. Also $1.99. We have both Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie. And I didn't have either of these manuals, so uh, this will go into my collection. And then, Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards. Also did not have this manual. Um, so excited to have this one. Again, awesome shape. Nice and crispy. Alright, and the next find from the thrift store, or secondhand store I should say, is a Super Famicom game. It's from Half Price Books. And I'm actually surprised that I found this game for this price, just because the Half Price Books that I found it at... Uh, when I typically go there, their prices tend to be right around eBay or fair market value or even more than that. So I usually don't shop there unless I have a coupon. But I was just curious and, and went into browse anyway. And this is the exact reason why. This is Rushing Beat Shura. This is a nice little side scroll and beat em up game. Uh, it was $35. This is a little pricey, but I know that. This specific game, this specific rushing beat game, uh, goes for a little bit more than that. Um, so $35 is not bad. Uh, it's at least worth it to me to give it a try because I do like import games right now. Um, I believe, if, if I recall correctly, rushing beat is uh, along the same lines of the Rival Turf series uh, that we got over here. So rushing beat Shura for $35 bucks from Half Price Books. Alright, and that's it for the thrift finds. Next up are the retail finds, and like I mentioned, they're from ThinkGeek. So after the Black Friday sale, which was 50% off the entire store, they decided to do another sale that had the same exact deal, 50% off the enti entire store. And I didn't know about it, but my fiance heard about it, and she did just decided to do a little bit of shopping. Uh, so she knows that I like plushies, she knows that I like puppets, and she happened to find a couple puppets. Uh, that I didn't have in my collection already 
Not that I have a huge collection of puppets, but I have Nintendo puppets. Um, and these ones are really cool. So the first one I want to show you is this one. This is Donkey Kong. Very high quality. Um, lots of stuffing in it. He's got his arms on his sides. He's got the little tie there. He's got stuffing in his chest so he's nice and buff. Donkey Kong. That one's very cool. And this next puppet is actually one that I kind of have already, but it's oversized. Ta-da! It's a giant warp pipe. If I stick my arm in it, it is a giant piranha plant. It's a huge giant piranha plant. It's like the size of my head. It's kind of amazing. I have a smaller one about the size of this. Um, actually smaller than this, but then this one really takes the cake. Alright, and so the last pickup of this week uh, is something from Nintendo Directly, like I mentioned. Um, it's in this box, and if you're familiar with the, the recent releases of Nintendo, um, you might have an idea of what it is. It is because of Nintendo Switch Online. And so the story behind this is if you paid the $20 subscription fee for Nintendo Switch Online, you had the ability to order these specifically for signing up for that subscription. Uh, and this allows you to play, or it didn't allow you to play, but might enhance your experience with the, the NES... NES games that they released uh, as a as a bonus for signing up for Nintendo Switch Online. So I'm actually going to open this up. This is a package sent directly from Nintendo, uh, and it wasn't free, unfortunately. Didn't come with a subscription, uh, but they gave you the option of ordering them. I think there were sixty dollars when you signed up. And as, as a retro gamer, as a, uh, someone that really appreciates retro games and the NES system, uh, I really could not refuse this deal. Uh, you can see the red there. It's going to slide right out. Their packaging is always perfect. Like, it's just the perfect size box. I want to know where they get it from. And look at that. That's very cool. So, at the very top, you can see... Got the Switch logo, Switch Online. This is Nintendo Entertainment System controllers. So these are NES controllers made for the Nintendo Switch. Um, a set of two NES controllers for the Nintendo Switch system. These controllers are for the use with the Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online games. Yeah, these are cool. And uh, in order to charge them, they are wireless. And uh, they do slide into your Nintendo Switch system, as you can see by that diagram there. Uh, but yeah, these are wireless, first-party Nintendo NES controllers that you can play with your Nintendo Switch Online games. This is very, very cool. I know that the Japanese counterpart uh, came with the Famicom, the Famicom controllers. And I would love to be able to get my hands on some of those Famicom controllers one day. Hopefully they don't go for too much if uh, people decide to sell them. But yeah, this is a very exciting pickup. Especially considering that recently I picked up the Club Nintendo Super Famicom controller for the Wii Remote. So uh, I think these are an excellent addition to my collection. Especially because uh, I appreciate retro games so much. Uh, I love the NES system, and I also love the Switch, so this is a great crossover, great balance, great uh, collaboration. I don't even know if it's a collaboration. I don't know what to call it, but I think this is a great idea from Nintendo to kind of boost up that nostalgia feeling, nostalgic feeling of owning a Nintendo Switch and an NES system. So, yeah, this I'm very excited about this one here. And those were all my pickets for this week. Not a whole lot, but I'm excited about each and every one of them. If you did like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out some of my other videos. I have other pickups, tips and tricks, gameplays, as well as streams. And with that being said, we'll see you guys on the next one.